Oh, women no, like that in real life. up y'all how y'all feel today welcome to another uh fellowship of relationship hour y'all make some noise up here good people yeah yeah all right we having a good little time up in here grown folks conversation we do it on tuesday nights right after work pull on up come see us it's going down welcome everybody watching us around the world let us know what city you are checking in we are broadcasting live from 21300 libby road at the uh, Silks location in Maple Heights. Pull on up and come and see us, man, for this great adult conversation. Of course, Kenya Brown is up in here hello, doing her hello. thing. What's up, Kenya? How y'all doing? <laughs> 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 they doing a whole song over there. What's up, y'all? It's time for Relationship Hour. We're going to yes, get into is. some of this good conversation. I'm going to get into some of this good food. You still have time to get over here. We're at 21300 so Libby Road. You got the walleye. Listen. The walleye is crazy. You got shrimp too? I did. I got to take one of your shrimp. I'm sorry. Oh, and he took one of my shrimp. Green y'all. beans and okra. Listen, this food is so good. And he crunched it. Did y'all hear that? Ain't that some mess? Yeah, it's so good as hell. It's real good, y'all. But you still have time to make it over here, and we're going to jump into some great conversation. Mm -hmm. And uh, we need these conversations, right? I mean, there's so many things going on, and we need some good conversation because we need some understanding out here in this world. Well, All right? And my brother over here, Mr. Sam Silk, you got the questions over there, or you didn't put the shrimp? Yes, I'm ready for these questions. He didn't put the shrimp And again, tail. you in the area, pull on up. Uh, don't call son to get in. We're just having a good conversation, good cocktails. Eat, yes. sip, and chill right here at Silks. And uh, let's dive, dive into the first question. But let us know what y'all checking in at around the world. And we're going to shout you out. What hinders men to grow up in relationships? And again, these questions are coming from audience and those of you who have sent them in. What hinders men... Um, to grow up in a relationship. What hindered? Oh, Brooklyn, what's going on? Their parents. What's up, Jason? What'd you say, Kenya? I said their parents. Their parents? What happened if their parents are dead? Well, uh, that your parents usually their over involvement usually makes it a little difficult mm -hmm. to grow up. And then they end up finding a, a partner that will take up the slack and, you know, move in as the other parent that will enable and continue the, the um, behavior. So. And especially if you have, if I would say, using my imagination, if you have kind of uh, uh, always had it. Yes. You always a person is always oh, yeah, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, don't worry about it. Especially some of you, you women who who are so used to being on your own, and then when you get with a guy, you know he tries. Sometimes some men in this day have said, "All right, let me let me chill," because she got. I don't want her to feel like like uh, I'm intimidated. So uh, let me let her do this. And what's then, intimidating though? What's intimidating is sometimes. Uh, well, that's not intimidating, but sometimes some men, they're not intimidated, but they're used to being a man, and the women will make him feel like weird of doing what, what they're used to doing, so they take the back seat to show the woman that I'm not intimidated about you got this or you want to do that. This is one scenario. So what happens is 
she is now used to doing what she's doing and probably now she want him to do A, B, C, D, but he, this is a learned behavior of him to fall back. Yeah. Some men, just, and then some are already like this. Some was weak when you got with him in the first damn place. Right. That's but, um, but yeah, some men do that. They compromise to a point that they're stuck and they don't even know it. It's just not a plan. It's not a purpose thing. It just happens. Because they kind of like, well, let me just do this. So I showed on her to think that, that I, because you got some women, man, just a, a man can just do what, like what men was taught and raised to do. And some women make them feel bad for doing that, like opening up a door. Like, I don't even open up the door as much as I used to because I don't want to offend a woman. But still, I mean. <laughs> okay. For real. That's how they make me feel. Women make me feel like, if I open the door for you, like, I want your number. No, I don't want your number. I was trying to be a gentleman because that's just what a man's supposed to do. But nowadays, let me not. She got, I had women tell me. I'm, I, got, I got two to tell you. I got one woman told me, a woman told me, I don't need you to open up the damn door for me. Oh. I remember when I was on the bus, public transportation, and offered my seat to a woman. And she looked at me and damn near cussed me out. What? I don't need you. I said, man, I just saw you with two bags. So that's the only reason I said, I didn't think anything else of it. So, you know, that's some. That's some. That's, I, that's not all. That's just some. I still feel yeah. that it's your responsibility to level up. You know, I can't base what I do on the next person because that would have me pulled all over the place. Um, you know, I get up in the morning, I'm the best person that I can be. At that time, I don't sit there and think, okay, well, you know, some guy made me mad, you know, a week ago, or, you know, I haven't had a great time with my parents or, you know, whatever the excuse is, because we can make a lot of them. But, it still doesn't excuse your own behavior. You have to be accountable to you. So if, if a, a guy is not stepping up, then that's their responsibility. That's whose responsibility? The guy. You're no, but you have to yourself. have a conversation. Like, you got to talk. Is it, it, people don't just all of a sudden know all the time. You have to inform them that, you know, um, I really don't like how this is going or... I think that we need to do A, B, C, D and identify. Everybody ain't gonna wake up and say, you know what? I need to be more like this. Right. Everybody don't do that. Sometimes some people, men and women, need to be told. They do. And they do. You need to tell them. I think that you have to tell people, but you, you know. We, come, we need the mic. Come on, come on, get the mic. Come on, come on. Get on the mic with us. The question again, let me bring it back. Uh, what hinders men to grow up in relationships? What hinders men? And that's an open question because it, it depends on the person to yeah. me. No, I was misunderstanding. I was thinking you were asking like young men or older men. Or, I mean, because. Bring the mic close. Older, I mean, younger men, I was going to say women raising basically young boys into manhood. Mm. I know they may do the best that they can, but it's hard for a young man to see his own reflection in a woman and being taught by a woman. So do you think that um, a woman could raise a well-rounded young man? I feel she can do her best, but a man needs to see a man. Mm. He needs to see a male figure in a role. Uh, he needs to see himself. I, I, I agree. I, I can't say I don't agree. Um, um, let's pass the mic. Yeah. But she was over here turning her head. No. Uh-uh. I got to. That's how I get good. You know we gotta turn it up, son. Yeah. We ain't had enough liquor yet. That's what. It is. 
that's, that's what it is. You know, because my husband was raised by a single mom, uh-huh. but my husband also had five uncles See, on that's his different. dad's side. And there you go. That's three correct. Three uncles on his mother's side. So I hear, when I hear people say a woman can't raise a man, a woman who has access to, to grown, responsible men in her life that her son can see absolutely can raise a man. You know, it's not just a father figure. Uncles and older responsible cousins well, can, well, can, it can so shape a child as well. I would say to your, to your answer, response is it's still, she didn't do that by herself. It was she them. Did not. Yeah, so did not. the answer would still be no. And I would say that to men and women. Like, I don't think that a man can raise a girl 100%. I don't. Absolutely not. Exactly. You see how quick she was able to. Absolutely not. <laughs> She's, Absolutely not. We don't know how to talk yeah, about a period. Mm-hmm. We don't know how to talk about when your coochie goes through all those different things. Just like a woman don't know how to talk to a man, I mean her son, about having a wet dream. About when he wakes up and, and there's sperm all in his drawers. Yeah, but still, you, the, I'm glad you said a village. And that's why you have the uncles. Thank God, because some people don't have five uncles mm-hmm. that they can even go to. With good sense. Well, I wanted to say my cousin, he's raising a daughter by himself right now. And he said when her, his daughter started her cycle, he's taking her to the emergency room. Oh, so. no. We always, we, we don't want to meet me. We don't want to talk about our daughter's coochie. We talk but about as far as the village, I think we, my husband and I was talking about that. Like, it's hard to have that nowadays because yes. people oh, man, like man, our man. village back in the day it was our neighbors and our family and all of that stuff and you can get a whooping from them and all of that but nowadays you gotta fight a parent if you just look at the kid wrong because they don't want you, you looking better, at you that gotta say that and that'll be the hard thing now so back then yeah the village was there now it's a hard way to answer that question five on because your family was blessed right they had good sense <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so for me, I see it on both sides. Um, my grandmother raised me. My mother was still in her life. My father wasn't. Come on it's, in, ladies. Come on in. It's nine of us. We got okay. the back bar open. Or y'all can sit and join the conversation so, if y'all want. I want to say three of the brothers married, responsible. But the other ones, they won't commit. Mm-hmm. And they won't commit because, for one, they had women that take care of them. Oh. And the other one, it's kind of crazy to say because before one of my brothers died, he confided in my sister. And we used to be on him all the time. Be like, man, why are you so hard on these females, man? You can find a nice woman or whatever. So. One day he confided in my sister, and he said, you know why I be hard and I don't want to be? I seen my mother do so many things to guys. So if my mother can do a guy wrong, what do another female can do? You know what I'm saying? And yeah. that's how he thought through his life. And it never hit me till he finally opened up. You know what I'm saying? And I believe, like I say, it, I see it on both sides. Yes. Now, that's what I meant by parents because, you know, if, if you don't know enough about your guy, you're spending enough time, you know, a lot of time with, with a guy and you want to know where it's going to go, spend some time with his family. Spend some time with him around his family, around his good friends, and you're going to get the cheat code because all of that stuff, is about to come out all you're gonna see all the patterns through the mama the sister the siblings you're gonna see all of those things that he probably would be able to keep up that representative for you but around that family it's all coming out it's all coming out you're gonna see all the little smart faces when you know he say something the mama gonna be like "Mm," you know auntie auntie you know they gonna tell the truth so that's the cheat code to me. What's going on? If y'all just tuning in, he's responding to this question. What hinders men to grow up in a relationship? I think simply sometimes it could just be trauma. Like, 
we could we all deal with certain levels of trauma we all have and, and unfortunately in our culture we deal with a lot more than others yes. um, if you're not mentally stable emotionally stable from the beginning I mean a lot of us didn't get that from home right so what my man back here said that um, you know I, I believe that too I don't I don't know if you've seen my post I posted today um, I don't believe that a man can properly raise a female to, into a woman, and I don't believe that a woman can properly raise a female, I mean a male into a man. I believe that, that we all have a choice to go whichever direction we choose to go, and we all strive for what we want to be better, right? So what we can do, males raising daughters and females raising sons, you could guide them in a way that you see fit for them, <clears throat> but to to actually be a great parent, you, in, my, in my opinion, you have to be able to be relatable. There's certain things that we just can't relate to, so then that's where we get back to having the community and having you know, the, everybody else to pitch in. And if you got that help, great, but like you said, everybody don't. So that's just my little and two cents. I'm, I'm so glad you said that, you said relatable. I, I told my son, it was something he asked me not long ago, and I said, okay, I had the answer. Oh, I got the answer. Oh, I know it without no doubt. I know what I'm talking about. But I understand how young kids are, even though he's an adult. I said, you're right, don't ask me. I said, but this person who I hear you always talk about, who you're around, ask them. Because they're successful at it and they're not me. Because they can demonstrate it in a way that you will accept. I'm not, my ego's not messed up because I, my, I talked to my Auntie Ida, even though me and my mama was tight. Auntie Ida was who I went to when, when I was, you know what I'm saying? You know. So I said that to help him because sometimes as parents, you have to know when they're paying attention, when they're not, when they're relatable. When they're not. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, I ain't trying to explain that. But that person has your attention. I'm okay with it. Please do. You know what I'm saying? Please do. I know that's all right. All right. Next question. What you got? We can go I one. You got, got over there. There you go. All right. Do you give your? Do you give who? Is that an H? Is that her? Do you give her allowance? What Are to spend on, on herself? On herself? Are you serious? See, this this isn't this isn't. You always uh, gonna take care of your lady. Okay. But, but I don't allowance? like the word allowance. I don't. I mean, that was just me. I don't. That's how it was back in the day, though, y'all. Come on now. I, it used to be like it used to be I, like that. I just don't like the word. You know, back, though. back in the sixties. Maybe that's just me. You know, back in the day. Back in the day. But it, you do gotta have a budget, though. You do gotta have I, a budget. Hey, the word allowance is okay. It depends. It depends on the goal. Like, if y'all working towards something, both of y'all gonna have a certain amount of allowance that's allowed to both of y'all. I ain't hung up on words like that. I, 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 I hang on to, like, the definite. What you trying to say to me? Like, don't spend <laughs> over $100, damn it. That's all I got and, for you, baby. And guess what? That's her allowance though. for the week, or that's his allowance for get, the week. Get your, get, your, uh, get your stuff. Check this out, Sam. Before <laughs> you started doing what you was doing, Regardless of how you look at it, you had allowance. You had to give yourself an allowance or whoever else gave you one. You couldn't just jump out the gates blowing money. No, that's why we said budget. <laughs> Sounds better. But, hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a budget. So she can get a budget. <laughs> right, right. That does. Yeah, it that's, does. That's what I was like. It what? depends on how you set it up. Some people, they, they don't want to work. You like that? You don't care about that. <laughs> Some people don't want to work. They just want somebody to give them an allowance, pay them bills, and send me shopping. And I'll see you when you get back to the house. So, Do you believe, uh, and I guess everybody would say yes to this, do you believe that intimacy is not just intercourse? Yeah, so we really don't got to stay on that too long, do we? Well, you know, if somebody intimacy is you talking too much, telling your deepest, your your deepest secrets, and spending some time. Oh, that's that's what. Okay. Yeah, you get. To, 
So you don't count sex under intimacy? You no, you do, but not just. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's very intimate. But some some women, men and women are different, right? So a woman and women, y'all jump in here. It's one thing if a man cheats, right? Like that really, you pissed off, you hurt. But if he and his Sharon telling her shit, telling her secrets, man, and then she throw that shit back at you, Ooh. somebody that gonna die. She shares something about y'all, about y'all that something that he told you. See, you gonna be hella mad at him, but I think women are more forgiving to move on with a relationship if somebody had a sexual thing because most men they hit it and they move on and it was only sex but if he sits up here, I'm just saying I said most not all but if he sits over there and tells and talks he knows stuff about Auntie Shirley mm -mm. that you know even some people in the family don't know about Auntie Shirley's secret but you know it and he shared it with her mm -mm. No. you know what I'm saying yeah, if you share if you share intimacy, that that's a little different. Ooh, yeah, that's you different. know. So, you know, that's that's like they can they can hold that they can wash DNA off, but you can't wash what you see. Man, yeah, that's a different type of betrayal. <laughs> that that cuts deep. Oh, don't let him tell something about his woman. Oh, talking oh, about you can't cook or something, something like that. You don't do this. That is exactly, girl. You don't you ever That's sit up and have pillow in. talk. Yes. I ain't telling nobody to go cheat, but don't you sit over here and talk about what she ain't doing. Don't you do that. Don't do Cause it. Because when she get a chance, she's going to tell her. You can't even clean your goddamn house. Oh. He showed me the pictures. Let me send it to your phone. Oh, yeah. Some of his tires. <laughs> You can't even make rice. Okay. All right. That's bad. Next question. Yeah. Should your husband be a priority over your children? Yes. You said what type of question is that? Wait, Some people don't know way? that. Come on. Okay. Please tell me. What tell way? us why they should be a priority. Because I didn't used to think that. And I... And I prioritized our children when they were younger because they were kids, you know, they were little. And one day my husband was like, we got them for a while. We got each other forever. We got to prioritize each other. They going to be okay. And I was like, damn, That's I got wrong. it. Light bulbs went off. Yeah. And, and that changed our relationship because I always felt like kids need at least one of the parents in the house to be 100% about them, you know, mm -hmm. but the older they got, they kind of took advantage of that a little bit. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And so, they're going to live their life. Yes. Yep. They're going to do what they want to do. And now they're grown and gone, and it's me and him, and I'm like, you know what? That conversation we had 20 years ago made all the sense I, in the world. I saw, I'm so glad you said that, because a lot of, a lot of folk younger than us wouldn't, have, wouldn't have, they won't say that. I see women argue now on Facebook, they put a question up, should the man eat first in the house? Should the man eat first? Hell no, my kids eat first. Woo, woo, woo. Ah, 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 ah. Woo, woo, ah, woo, woo. But if, if, if he's a man, he takes care of the house. The man, you, the man you chose. Yeah, the man you chose to have these kids with. And I saw something on Instagram this week. I, I don't know who the guy is, the celebrity guy, Kenya, but he said to his wife, he said, if I ever have to choose between you and what I like to do, then I can't do this. Talking about my dreams, my goals. He said, if my dreams get in the way, then we can't be married. If our kids get in the way, we can't be married. I would do everything else. I will always be there. I would do this and that. But those are the only two conditions for me. That's what he said. Right. Yeah. His happiness, as far as his, when we say that, that doesn't mean you just say, forget it. But you don't want nobody with no hope. You just got through asking about, uh, the first question was about a man, uh, uh, what hinder a man to grow in a relationship. Sometimes what hinder people is, 
they're afraid to do what they do because their significant other don't, don't support their dreams and, and want them to go to where they want to go. No, 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 no. If somebody wants to be whatever that, that is. You can't be, no, I would say you can still be a 38-year-old rap. You just can't be a, a, full, a 50 when trying to, trying to come out with a hit song. No. Huh? Uh, How he old didn't was just he? Start. Or is he? He didn't just start. No, Jay-Z, been, Jay-Z started his 20s. No, he, well, he, had, he started then. No, she talking about somebody starting today. Right. Somebody still ain't hit it yet. Listen. <laughs> great. He said he got a damn notebook. But I do have to say this. Now, I don't know whether or not it's so much just prioritize him or prioritize her, but prioritize the relationship. Um, I do believe in that. I believe that you have to date each other. I believe that you have to prioritize that intimacy that goes beyond sex. You have to nurture those sexual relationships, you know, those ways that you connect. Because like you said, at some point, the, those connections, those kids, all of those things, they will change. And what's left, you might be strangers, you know, at that time. So you have to put forth that effort the entire time. It has to be just as important as everything else. That meeting that you schedule, schedule me as well, because uh, pencil me in for Thursday, all right? Yes. You're going to yes. hear that one too, right? That's real. Yeah. That's I need real. a good block of time be- that you're not on your phone, that you not Instagramming, that we not... I mean, we might watch... Yeah, we could watch something if we choose to watch uh, a series or a movie together, but... Majority of the time, we watch them with y'all put on a damn screen anyway. <laughs> I don't feel like watching this. You want to fall asleep. I don't want to see nobody plotting to kill their damn husband. Don't act like you a don't like the shows, too. They be acting like they don't like the shows. Killing the kids. Come on, man. <laughs> y'all be watching Jenny and Georgia with us. No, I'm just <laughs> I did watch the whole damn Bel Air though. I like that. It it was good. Yeah, it was I like that. How many of y'all watch Bel Air? Yeah. Man, it's good. Um, BMF. Harlem. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Forrest Whitaker. I love no, anything. I love anything to do with that type of stuff. I love, I just love that yeah. stuff. All right. Next question. Would you really like all honesty from your partner if you ask, even if it hurts. No, you don't. <laughs> Women do not want the truth. That's why we lie to y'all and don't tell y'all all the time. I want some truth. No, you don't. I we know do. you don't. All right, I'm going to do a, a check in the room. How many women, I'm going to do it to me. How many women, again, want the truth from your man, even if it hurts? Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay. How many men believe <laughs> that she can accept without arguing, without making you feel bad. You don't get to choose the reaction. N- no, yo, no, no, no. Yes, you do. Nah. Yeah. Because if I tell you the truth, sometimes it's a statement. It shouldn't be a question afterwards, especially if you ask me a question. Mm. Mm, what? Mm-mm. That's why we don't want to go through all that. It is what it is. There's no reason. Uh, ABC. Look, you asked me one ended ass question. Why you got to come up with 20 with my answer? I didn't want to tell you because I didn't feel like answering 20 questions because now I'm going to start lying because I don't know the other 19 that you want to hear. Okay. All right. Okay. So she goes to the mall. She spends too much money. I knew money. this was about to come. When you want her to tell you? You said want her to tell it, me. Yeah. It's going to no, be. No, we ain't talking about what that. She we talking about some other stuff. We ain't talking about that. What are we talking about? It could be any. It could be something about you. It could be something about yourself. Like, I, yeah. right? I, I can handle. I, I can't imagine. Yeah, we gotta come up with something. Y'all come up with some. Come up with some that you want to know the truth about. And I will tell you if a guy gonna tell you the truth about it. Go ahead. Okay, so me and my wife we had an argument one time, mm-hmm. and 
Oh yeah, we are. Right. Listen, man. <laughs> we might be married. Y'all might see the smiles, but it be Royal Rumble sometime around there. You know what I'm saying? But. Uh-huh. No, she loves the tight. Trust me. But me and my cousin had a conversation, and when I get off the phone, she asked me, "What y'all talk about?" And I said, "I can't tell you that." Now we got a rule: we got to be honest with each other. So she like, "But well, we talk about everything. Why you can't tell me?" <laughs> I can't tell you. Right. He asked me not to say nothing, but we tell each other secrets all the time. I can't tell you. Until he tell me to tell you, it is what it is. But we had an argument for a whole month. Mm-hmm. And we didn't, she finally let it go after that. But she didn't find out what it was until about three years later. Ooh. Then she, when I told her what it was, she's like, oh, okay, I understand. But some things you just can't be honest with. Was that a good se- was it a good secret? I mean not not good and I mean but that's a secret that you felt should have been held. You understood that. Yeah. And and I have to say that I believe that all of us hold something not intentionally to be deceitful but hold something to yourself that you haven't told the person that we, this is good stuff. We got to talk about this tomorrow. That you don't tell your significant other, the person that you with for the rest of your life. I don't. I don't. I don't think. I don't think you can't tell me. You told them every damn thing. Your darkest secrets. I, I tell. Everything. 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 Your I thoughts. Your I thoughts. I didn't used to. I didn't used to. I think, um, like in that example, that's like. You got a certain amount of loyalty amongst uh, certain people, right? So I don't necessarily think that would be a secret. If if it's something be, if me and my man's talking about something that just don't have nothing to do with my wife or got nothing to do don't with my family, do it. right? That's just between me and my man. That's it's just right. like it's not if a my wife it's and just a girl, I'm not about to come home and say, "Guess what we was talking about tonight?" <laughs> right. So if my wife and her girl have been talking, having a conversation, ain't got nothing to do with me. I don't. Whatever y'all talked about, y'all. Talk, if you feel that you want to talk about it, then by all means, you, you, you can open up. Um, I may not care because that's still between y'all. But I don't think, like, I think when it comes to secrecy, like, it really depends on what the secret, what, what the secret is. And, and, if it, and, and, uh, and what you said, it, is it really a secret or is nothing, it's not worth even talking about? It's like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, I, it's not a, now if it's something deceitful, remember I said deceitful is a different thing. Right. What you got for us? I was going to say, if my wife asks me any question, I will answer her, and I'll tell her or ask her, if you want to know, I will answer your question, but I will ask you why you want to know. Because if it's just something to, uh, for curiosity, or for you to get upset, you may not want to know. But I will tell her. But she's scared to ask me questions. <laughs> it's because you, because you was honest. Yeah, she doesn't See? want to hear. There you go. She don't want to hear. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I, I, I want some honesty. Give, give me the honesty. Give me the option. Okay. I like to have my options. What's the question of a honesty that you want to know? Like let's really let like, I think that's the thing we need to crack the egg right now. Crack crack. What is it that he or she shouldn't hold from you? It's really a woman question, but what is it you want to know, ladies? And and let me just say, like with the arguments of, you know, holding secrets from one another, sometimes it's not so much that you're just trying to be nosy. Sometimes you just wanna feel like you're his friend. You 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 don't Right, you you want to feel that you are man. J- Jay just enough. told me all that ass he he hit last night, girl. Man, I, you should have hit. Man, he told me he had her legs all up. That wouldn't phase me. I, but I, I'm just saying, it, I'm, I'm supposed to tell you that. Yeah. If my buddy just called me. <laughs> yes. And told me that he was messing with a chick, and now he itching, and, or his burn when he peed. We could laugh Hold together. On. But but this ain't no laughing matter. My dude got an but issue. It's me and him. 
it's me and you. I mean, but it ain't me and you. That's me and my dude. He ain't. You ain't itching. Why would I call? Do y'all call? Do y'all tell us? Do y'all tell us? Me interrupt. Do they tell us when their girl has a severe a yeast infection? Yes. <laughs> look, look at her face though. Her friends ain't telling her nothing no more. Her friends, you told him that. No, my... That's why I couldn't get with his friend. Hey, cause you, <laughs> hey, cause you already know. I'm about to tell my dude. Hey, don't mess with her, man. She got that, got that good old pace going. <laughs> It's it about the intimacy between you and your girl. It's oh, like yeah, you the you the homie. So look, at the, the end of the day, at the end of the day, for real, for real. Yes. We all have our own things that separate us. Like we we're together, but we got our own things that we do apart. Right. And when I'm hanging with my friends, what me and my friends do is what me and my friends do. When you hanging with your friends, what you and your friends do, that's what y'all do. I don't need to tell you what me and my buddy was talking about. And I won't unless I just feel like talking about it. But if my if my man's come to me and like, hey, bro, I need to talk to you about something. I'm not telling. I don't care how much you beg or we fall. I'm not telling you nothing. This is between me and my man's. So is it out of line for us to ask? Because I maybe I guess I'm nosy. I think it is because if we wanted you to know, we would tell you. That ain't got nothing to do. That, I mean, well, like, what's taking you so long to tell me? Because. <laughs> <I, laughs> Because I'm not telling you. <laughs> okay, let me just say, it wasn't just an argument. What happened was, <laughs> right. what, happened, what was, happened was, you know how, okay, you're on the phone and you're talking and your body language just changed. Yes. And I'm just concerned. Like, All of us been on that, though. Yes. Right. Are What's you wrong? okay? Right. What's going on? You know, it was just that. It wasn't just being nosy. I want to make sure you're okay as well as whoever it was over there. No, seriously. Like, if you don't want to tell me, okay, I, I did understand, I'm still upset because whatever it was, it made you upset. So I'm just trying to be there for you. That was just the whole See? point of it. It's not right. like we just being nosy and just want to know everything. Right. I want you to be okay. I'm with you, girl. Don't look at me. Look at I'm me with like, you, girl. No, no, no. We checking no, on no, your no. So, so y'all know I, I try, always try to keep it fair. All of us have been there where your mate was having a conversation and even they are, the eye contact towards you, even though it wasn't intentional, made you say, well, what the hell going on? Everybody didn't been to their like, what the hell going on? You know, because, oh, yeah. Yeah, get up and leave the room. What the hell was going What happened? Hey, damn it. That's, that's instant what curiosity. Happened? Right. But I think that, and again, I don't know if he, if he said it this way, man, I just, you know, respectfully, they confided in me in something, and, and I'm just, I, yeah, and I'm still in shock about it. You know. But a lot of us don't know that because we don't practice. This don't happen every day. <laughs> yeah. But see, I see a lot of men telling women how they're supposed to act. Can we have a little grace to feel our insecurities? Can we have a little grace to ask? Yeah, but they don't. They don't mean that. They, they don't dumb. mean that we have to fall into it and just do it. It don't mean we have to do it just because that's how you feel. Why not? Because we don't. Like for example, yeah, you still, and this is why. To go back to the original question, most men don't tell you all the truth because we don't feel like all this goddamn going back and forth into the whys and questions. It's too many. I don't want to. He confided in me. I don't want to. And if it is, and if you know your man, he's all he's probably told you things he he, he that he, he that he didn't want to tell you. He just told you because you are his friend. Yes. But he can't tell you everything. We don't want to know everything about your girls. When y'all he home, we know which one of my hoes. We know that already. You told me some oh, stuff so before. Oh, so you don't want to know the whole story? No, nah, no, nah, all Come the time. Come on now, you, you no, want the whole no, story. No, no, I'm good. He playing. Not unless I can get a good ass laugh. But a, yeah, there you go. Well, we but have a better you, gauge, yeah. But when you, such and such told me something 
and I'm not comfortable sharing it with you. That's the honesty I want. Yeah. Tell me that. Tell me such and such can find no, something in me. That's not true. Right. But Don't I'm tell glad, me I'm maybe you more mature. The mo the majority the majority is I'm not saying, going for that. If you if you say I just had a conversation uh -uh. with my fans and he told and he that's told that's maturity me you tell that guy you got then, going on. Then say those words to me so that I can let it go. Right. You and know? I still I still might you, not let it go. But when you know that ain't none of your business or whatever, it's like that's yeah, in, no. insulting or something. I ain't letting it go. No. I ain't letting it go. No. It's not about to be like, okay, if you're like, I'm not comfortable talking to you. Right. <laughs> That's not happening. You know what, ladies? Don't tell them no good gossip anymore. Just, just leave them right. in the dark when you get so, up and leave the room. So I was going to leave that question. So, But I think it, get, it depends on, again, what, what the truth question is. That's why. So let's, now it's time to crack it because we've been, we've been mellow lately. Yeah. So the question is, I'm going to make up some stuff. The question is, so why did you cheat on me? Let's ask some real questions. This other stuff ain't nothing. I right? need to know that. So why did you cheat on me? Yeah. So you can say, I was just a hoe. I was terrible. It was one of my lowest points. It was horrible. Then you're going to get 20 other questions. Yes. Then here's the next one. Well, I'm not blaming you. However, remember this, remember that, and I asked this, I did this and that, this and that, blah, 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 this and that. Yeah, uh, well, that's why. Oh, what? That, that's all you got? Well, it's the truth. That's it. It's the, but it's the truth. But you well, I tried to tell you. You never listened to me. So now... If it, and if, if it hurts her, let's move cheat if it's something else. If it is, you don't like her. Why do you don't come over to my, why, to my auntie's house? I don't like her. I don't like that part of your family. Because you know, you, hell, you don't like her. Right. The stuff you didn't tell me about her. So I don't want to go over to Aunt, Aunt Lucille's house. I don't, they, I, I'm bored. They don't play cards. They don't play spades. They don't do, I don't like blues music. Your family's boring. That's fine. I, you got damn right. Right. Then she gonna say, your uncle ain't shit. He a crackhead. Da, 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 da. <laughs> Listen. Y'all know, y'all know with all this stuff I'm saying be, be, be stuff that go on why people don't want to tell the truth. Cause it, right. <laughs> See, just lie. Just lie. Yeah. No. I need to know. I need to know. You know what for? What no what what's because, knowing? Okay, I'm gonna tell you, let me tell you why. After I done told you, you, you sometimes y'all already know the answer. Because okay, you cheated, right? So if you cheated and I'm asking you questions, I need to figure out what your thought process is because I need to know the likelihood that you're going to repeat this damn offense. So, so I need to know. I'm going to give you some you meat on that. I'm going to give you some meat on that. I said it. You make a decision. If you want it to if work or not, I pay the consequences. Yeah. If you leave. Let me tell you. Now that's gonna sound like some arrogant boy, but yeah. it is what it is. You have to make a decision for yourself on how you feel. <laughs> no, 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 no. But just because she he saw a nice booty at the gas station and he got her number or some colleague or something like that they got a little bit too close and you weren't aware of it or whatever the case may be, whatever it is that is taking your attention away from the relationship, I need to know what's happening because I need to know, am I wasting my time? You know, He is, told you he, he got tired of watching the uh, Lifetime stories and all that stuff. Now, if it's that petty... <laughs> Then yes, I need to know that too because <laughs> I need to get the hell away from you because That's you cannot right. take care of my feelings. But you know, some people really are really remorseful for the things that they did. You know, they might have got caught up or 
they might recognize some pattern in their personality that, you know, just talking through some problems, but you have to be able to talk through it. I think that a lot of people, you know, they'll try to be honest, but then they'll tell you how you're supposed to feel about it. You can't tell me how I'm supposed to feel about it, but we can work through it. But that's why they didn't want to tell you the whole truth is because of that. It's maturity. It's a maturity. It's a maturity. It's selfish, but it's the truth. So again, yes. you're not going to get an answer that's, that's going to be agreeable that you say, you know what, I understand, I get it. That's not going to happen. I the reality it. is nobody really want to hear the truth when it's negative about them, right? But I think that individually we all handle it differently. So um, for me, like I deal with the consequences of what it is. Like, I really can't remember the last time that I've lied about something to somebody that I cared about, okay? So, at work, I might tell a little white lie here and there, you know, I was, where was you at? I was right there, I was looking for you. I mean, you know, I might do one of those, but when it comes to like matters of like the heart and dealing with people, I'm a little soft on that side. So, I would rather tell you the truth and let you deal with it. Do you wanna still continue to deal with me or do you wanna move on? Because the reason for me, I said this and y'all said I was wrong and, and I'm, a, I'm accepting that. <laughs> y'all said I was wrong and I'm accepting that. But for me, I, you gonna know that I'm gonna cheat before I cheat because I'm gonna have these talks with you. I really don't wanna cheat. If I wanted to cheat, I would've just remained single and just had my way. If I'm with you and I want it to work for me, I'm going to tell you how I feel. And it, you might be able to get that out of me a couple times before I actually step out, but I'm going to communicate that with you, for me. I understand, That's but if you, step out, if you step out, can she ask you some questions? She can't ask you no follow-up questions? Yeah, she know the answer, so why? And, and, that's, and that's, I think, why some people feel the way they feel because you know the answer. Now it becomes a whole incrimination, a whole, I gotta send you through this, a whole this and that. When you younger, you're okay, fine. When you get a little older, it's like, you know what it is. Humanly, you're gonna ask the wise or wise, but at some point, when will you change it? When will you cut it off? When will you make the adult decision for yourself? But I think that everybody should be able to be honest, and if it hurts, you can't get mad if he or she says this, if you ask them a question. You should not. And he hit it on the head. He's like, don't nobody want to hear nothing negatively about them. They get, you get, oh, ooh, what you mean? What you talking about? All right. I do. All right, next question. How long should you be in a relationship to know if it's time to get engaged? Yeah, whoever it is, yeah. It's a good thing when you find, yeah. I think this is a woman asking this question. Um, really, only women ask questions like this. Um, how long should you be in a relationship to know if it's time to get engaged? So you probably was thinking about that when you, you know, the woman probably was already thinking about that. Man, there are some men that, that, that that's looking that way, but if y'all, okay, I can answer it. If y'all haven't had the conversation, there you go. It's, it's too long. That makes sense? That's whether if it's, it's no time limit. So that's at the beginning. When y'all first start dating, it's okay to say, what do you think about marriage? There's nothing wrong with that. Because now you didn't got the bull out the way. Okay. If y'all can have a conversation, if that's what you want, whether you're the male or the female, and you can't have a conversation, and you want to have it within 30 days of going out, if that's how you feel, you should. Ain't no such thing as too soon or too long. It's when. So if, if it comes to you first, whether you're the woman or not, I know what you said, he that finds, but he might be playing. So you need to open up your mouth and say, what are your thoughts about marriage? What do you think about marriage? No, well, that's not necessarily true. Some have. 
Some have. They do, yeah. They are. Some doing it. Yo, no, we old school. Yeah, yeah, okay, you're not, but, but today's woman is. Back in the day. When you're with somebody, when you mm. dating somebody, kicking it with somebody, whatever, if marriage is your goal, you need to have that conversation sooner rather than later because we all getting old. You don't right. want to spend five years with somebody to find out, you mean you really don't ever want to get married? That's where communication comes in. Whether it's a day into the relationship, a week into it, at some point, if marriage is your goal, women, tell that man, I'm not dating to date, I'm dating for a spouse. Same thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, well, right. <laughs> trust me, if a man meets a woman, because y'all say it all the time, when you meet a woman, you know if you're going to sleep with her, you know if you're not going to sleep with her, you know if you think she's marriage material. Mm. No. So if you meet a woman and, and she is the embodiment of everything that you're looking for in life, why would you stretch that out for three years, five years? Because he wants you? some more. Because what? I, some you, what? you are that. No, no, y'all want answers. Hear the real answers. Don't question it. Accept it. That's the problem, what I just said earlier. Don't question me. Accept it. You have, it's only one answer. I'm questioning everything. You, you are wife material. I don't want to marry you. I identify I, then, that you, hold on, let me finish. You are wife material, but I don't want to. I want to, I want to get with her right now. Okay. I like her. Okay. She's pretty, she's beautiful. That's so I want to spend some time with her. That's cool. So that's why I did. And I'm going to be out. And, and you should. Question, I'm not mad. I, I told question, you I didn't want to. But I think that's what. <laughs> Accept it. Raising your what? daughters today, especially today, Lord have mercy. Teach them how to communicate. Teach them how to use their words, whatever it is. If you're 25, 30, 35, whatever, if marriage is your goal, and you're Come with on, somebody who doesn't want to be married, how you ever going to find that out unless you say the words? You got it. You how got you right. feel That's about right. marriage? That's right. So say the words, lady. Say the words. Open Ask, up. Don't have, waste your time. I'm with you. Have the conversation. Why waste your time? That's right. Why waste your time? Why, why, why are you wasting your time? Come on, woman. You've been quiet. We know you can talk. Yeah, I have been quiet. So I think the conversation be, should be talked about when y'all start talking about moving in together um i'm not gonna say that you know you gotta be engaged when you move in with each other but the conversation should be talked about um if that's something that y'all you know like if that's something that she want to do that is like to me it's important for me to i don't want to move in with a guy unless i know that it's something serious and when i do decide to move in with a guy i'm expecting to be engaged before moving in. <laughs> <laughs> now I understand. Here we are. Ah! <laughs> but but listen, it's not no. Listen, that's she. She's saying what she's saying. I want to be engaged. She want to be engaged yeah. before she moves in. But this goes back to what you just said. Yes. Ain't nothing wrong with that's good. It ain't perfect to how everybody else wants it. That's right. But this is what she wants. And stick Next. to your guns, girl. In my opinion, <laughs> in my opinion, I Here think that. Uh, <laughs> right. Oh, we ain't hook him up with the electrodes hey, listen, yet. In my opinion, I don't think most men really have a goal to get married. I think that most men really do it for the women. That's really? just what I believe. So no, no, no. So 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 partially of what he's saying, some men. What do we? I mean, some, some men. Go ahead. So, I was looking on my phone over there. I was looking on Instagram earlier, and this one about one of the boxers or something. He lost his belts. He lost half of his uh, his money. He lost everything to his wife. Right when they got divorced. At the end of the day, like we got to go into it with a prenuptial agreement. There's really no trust, right? But if we just go into it, I mean, like, what is it that we cannot do? Or what do we lose out on by not getting married? There's really, getting married, really, to me, is really like a business deal. Now, for me to say that I wouldn't get married would be a lot because I'm, I might. I've really been thinking about it. 
But I really don't see the game for men in getting married. That's my honest opinion. And, and I would not really disagree with him on that, and I understand where he's coming from. Hmm, I hear this. Hmm. Because, because I'm, I'm, about to really, I'm about to really get y'all fired up, too. Because at the end of the day, it benefits her more than it benefits him. Wait, huh? Oh, it does. How? Unless she makes more money. You ain't got to go to the bathroom. You ain't got you ain't got PP yet. <laughs> oh, we can go back to your question. Now. Yeah. I have a lot of friends, and this situation came up a while back, and we asked, "How'd y'all meet? How you get married?" She said it took him ten years to marry me, and he said because you wasn't ready yet. It went over her head. She didn't hear it. Hey, that's real talk. He said he would Look at her face. You got to see her face. She wasn't ready yet. I don't care how much coochie she gave him, what times he spent. She wasn't ready yet. She wasn't ready yet. That's right. So he wanted to get married a long time ago. Yeah. But her situation or priorities, whatever it was, he wasn't putting the ring on it until she got her stuff together. That's right. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Cause I know he want she want she want to beat the man up over there. Huh? No, because you said that marriage doesn't benefit a man the way it does a woman. No, it doesn't, in my opinion. Statistically, when a man gets married, it adds seven to ten years to his life because Thank that you. woman is making him go to the doctor, taking him oh, to the Lord, dentist. Here we go with uh, this. They're more Believe. successful in business. And, and oh, yeah, I can't yeah. remember Most what millionaires I was reading, are married, but and still have multiple wives too. Have multiple wives and mistresses add that part to it. But no. I think that the, the cohabitating relationship should benefit the both of y'all. I mean, it but, should. Now listen. And it, and it does. Listen. Let and, me. But it so, does. So let me com, let me complete it. Okay. When and if let's say if it ends, is more beneficial. I'm not talking about death for a woman than it is a man, unless it's different on the money side. It's factual. It's always been that way. Well, I don't, I don't believe it, it is. I, it, it is. I mean, you you show me. A woman gets divorced. She gets the money. She gets the house, and the next man moves in, That's not and he job. benefits from it. Ain't no no. We see it all the damn time. What are y'all talking about? Well, look, well, what are y'all talking about? But. What the fuck? I mean, what? We stop all this stuff. No, and you, then y'all sit over here and get pissed off when a woman has to pay. Her fair share to a man. Now he ain't no good because he accepted alimony from her. No, we but equal, you just right? Said that. You just said unless right. there's money involved, and then that that's when it flips, and then the man, the man. Oh yeah, it's going gets, to flip that way. The financial come up, but I would think that if you're marrying somebody, I would hope that y'all was kind of on equal footing. It's you never know, that way. Yoked. It's that's never that way. It's never that way. Man or female, whether nah. she makes more, he makes more. Nah. You're never, you're never financially equally yoked when it comes to if y'all are going to be uh, not together. Well, women make traditionally less money than men, so that's the old days. Not no more. Well, Them days are gone. That's that's not true. That's well, okay. Not true. Okay. But. <laughs> Right. That, that, that's a very small percentage. Men, men very much still run the world. Men run the majority of the corporations and things like that. So what was happening is you have your your wife that comes in, takes care of the home and uh, the children, raises the children, and then he yeah, meets this hot she, little secretary. Did, 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 and did, did he you hear what she just said? She raises the children, not we raise the children. Because you're, that was you're already, taking care of your business. That was our, no, you, you just said your business. See, I'm the judge. I'm listening to what you're saying. You ain't listening. Am I lying? I'm she, trying to tell you. Am what I I'm lying? Saying. Didn't she use those words? She used the pronouns, right? Didn't she I'm, use listen. that? She separated it. I didn't. I'm telling you what I'm saying. <laughs> if kids. the man is traditionally <laughs> out there being the breadwinner, running the business, and he said, like, honey, listen, I don't need you running all over the place. I need you to hold it down, make sure these kids get these tutors and to the soccer practice and all that stuff. She like, cool. 
And then all of a sudden one day he like, well, you ain't enough. You ain't sexy no more. You it, know, uh, I'm going to let her finish on that because I got to come short, back and hit her on the head you, with that you, one. You, you not wearing the short skirts anymore. You don't turn me on and you ask me too many damn questions. So now I'm going to leave and you And you should for put Susie on another Q. short skirt. And that's your fault. You're right. Keep See, going. Now I'm going to leave you for Susie Q. And I'm going to leave you destitute, even though you spent the better part of the last decade or two uh, tending to me, washing my, washing my socks and... Uh, making sure I ain't had no holes, make sure I was presentable to the world, and now you want to kick me to the curb. That's why those things were put in place. And that's why you shouldn't get married, because things like that was put in place. No, I got to keep it 1,000, and I'm a married person talking. So it's, it sounds like a punishment and penalty. So this is why young guys don't want to, because how you said it sounds like a punishment and penalty. I might have fell out of love with you. When a woman falls out of love with you, it's her prerogative and you can't question it. She just don't want to be with you no more. She don't give a damn about how much you've been paying, how much you've been doing. She don't love you. She's out of love with you. She don't like some of the shit you do anymore. She don't. It's not always a man found another woman. Sometimes people just fall out of love with each other. Everybody ain't cheating who has a divorce. Everybody's not. Now, let me say this because I am a good guy. I'm going to take care of you. You've been there for me. You got my kids. I'm going to look out for you. But at the end of the day, I didn't need marriage for that. It was my character. My character going to take care of that. That's all I'm saying. I ain't telling nobody not to, but I'm also giving y'all facts. Even the women today who making that bread got to pay it up. Look at Mary J. Blige got tricked out of all that damn money. Now, you know I love me some Mary J. Blige. For what? They ain't got no kids. And you still eating off of her. She had to go back on tour the same. And this dude took her money. I want to whip his ass. Take a Mary J. Blige's money. Well, Man. If more men had character, then they wouldn't have the to have laws. hell wrong with you? Sitting up there. Yeah, but if you out of love, you shouldn't have to pay because you don't love nobody it's like that. Pay. It that's is paying. You just said it. Well, Let me ask you this. You just said it. You just said it. Let me ask you this. You just said it. So it got to be equal then. Should a woman pay? Hold up. I got one Should she pay money to a man They ain't got no kids together? How many women believe that you should pay alimony to a man you was married to because you make way more money? But it just didn't work out. Should you pay for him? To, yes or no? And it's only a question. Ain't got time to think. Should you? Yes or no? Yes, you should. Thank you. Should she? Should, ain't about that. We see these fools out here. But the judge just said he don't hear all that. You was married to him all this time. You made the most money. Nah, he was That's lazy. Right. He, 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 right, I mean, dude just wanted to sit at home and play the video game all day. No, he didn't. He's taking them kids to daycare and stopping practice. What about no. the men who want, hey, they're the not? They ain't no kids. No kids. Well, first of all, a chick making a million dude making 40. He ain't never going to get that. That's just not happening. It happens. It happens. <laughs> it totally happens. Now, it ha now it happens. wait a minute. Now, uh, what's his name that owned Amazon Bezos? His ex-wife did start dating a science teacher. See, and that science teacher coming up. Now, they, they did get divorced. <laughs> they, got, they got divorced the next year, but she did have that good prenup in place. So, yes. She ain't get, he ain't getting none of those, that Bezos. All I'm saying is fair is fair. I just like fair. That's all. And I get real graphic so y'all can understand me. I like to make y'all dive into what I'm saying. Think about it. That's kind of on the same lines as a uh, woman being the paternal parent, right? Mm -hmm. So um, how many women really would know that their child's father is the better parent and would give that child to the father so, but, but have to pay child support? You know they're too old now. <laughs> hey, you I'll come visit. Hey, you don't count. <laughs> Listen, send me some school pictures. Hey, now look, sure the reality. Cute. Let's look at it. We got a whole lot of women out here that's really fighting dudes that are good dads, 
They pieces of crap, some of them, but they don't want to lose their check. They don't want to lose the benefit. They don't want to lose nothing because the dude becomes a, a financial source to them. It's the same situation. When, like, we don't. Oh, hell no. I'm sorry, go ahead. Say it. Say it. We, we really don't win, for real. We don't win nothing. We don't win nothing unless we just got, unless we bump into a solid woman that's just really down for us 100%. That's the only way that we gonna win. Outside of that, we, we lose everything. You have emotional support. You have love. We don't you need, have we can sex. Get that from anybody. You have somebody who is a caretaker for your children. So listen to that. We could get that. I mean, and, and just, keeping it, just keeping it real. Just keeping it real. Just keeping it real. Name one thing that you said that we couldn't get from pretty much anybody. Well, you didn't ask for it. You asked it from no, her. I'm asking and, you. And she gave it to you for free. <laughs> I'm asking you. Name one of those things that we just couldn't get without getting Me? married. Me? You gave it I'm a, a one price tag. If I'm you fall one out one. of what she doesn't want it to be the way it goes, a price tag on it. That's true. But, can you? Yeah. You, you didn't did all that before before you were married. You didn't gave... You didn't gave all that before you were married before. Everybody has. Right. I'm asking. And now I'm, I'm giving it to you, and you need to take care of it, because otherwise, then it's going to be somebody else. And so that's why, to the question, why a lot of men, young men, don't ask the question and want to be married, is all the stuff that well, we just demonstrated as men and said. So you got your answer. Now it's up to you to decide what you want to do. Find out. We said, you want to get married first? Do that. And let me, I don't mean to bust your bubble. Just because you get engaged before you move in with somebody don't mean that that's going to be good either. True. Okay? So I'm just helping y'all out. The real truth to the matter is, you don't know unless you decide and try it and do it. Yeah. That's the best answer that I can give anybody. I ain't going to tell you, don't go do it, go do it. But until you do it, you won't know on whatever way you want to go. That's right. Because everybody in here only got their opinion. And like my sister always say, what go on in our house may not work in y'all house. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> I mean, that's just what it is. That's what it is. So, real talk. The opinions this is stuff make y'all think. We got women talking about, well, I, damn, they just didn't crush my whole marriage shit. Oh. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> I think it's important to have your own identity. I think that if you can work out those old things, you know, we, we get passed along so much stuff from society. What, what your friends think it so, should be? Yeah. That list. What is the list? He should be doing this, this, and this. Uh, your mama thinks something. The, this person thinks something. You better know and know very well what you want in a relationship and what you want in your life because there will be somebody all the time that will sit there and try to convince you otherwise. But you are the one who have to live your life, so you better know what you want it to look like. Yep, and know that. And say all these young boys, you know this. I don't care who she is, if it ends, you're going to have to pay. You, yeah. And they told you why. Although, I ain't asked for nothing when I left my first Oh, see? Relationship. Again, y'all here. Oh, that's right. Y'all got yeah. different. Y'all think it's different. Um, I was yeah. like, keep everything. Yeah. I don't want the TV. I don't want a pillow. I don't want see, nothing. See, somebody else be like, uh-uh. Oh, give me that. Give me that. Give me that. No. Right. Keep all that. And that's, all, but, all that. but you know what? I mean, you brought it up. But that's, but that's when, that's when... You're like, I don't want shit to do with anything. Period. I left that alone. And that's different. That's different. That's, you know what I'm saying? That's why some people, they got, they got it's what I'm going to get when I leave. And I think that's the thing that, that startles some men about wanting to move on. You know what I'm saying? And they need to treat, they need to treat having kids with women like they treat not getting married. Does that make sense? Treat not having all these damn kids everywhere like the fool we saw talking crap this week. 
treat it like not getting married. The hell you making babies for? And you don't right, you tied to him, you don't want to take care of responsibility. How many he have? Eleven? He was he was lying though, because he was trying to go viral. Yeah, but go viral, there are right. men just like that. That dude, you know you can he, yeah. Eleven different women with eleven and different seven, children. Was it seven or seven, eleven? Seven, seven, seven of them he had kids seven. with. You believe? Him? All right. Let, let me. Let me. Hey, shouts out to Kimberly right quick before we go. And Jason. Uh, Jason says we are going to keep. We are going to keep answering the answering the questions. We are not going to do that. Right. To keep going to do. He's talking about telling the truth on, you know, the question. So that came up. Let me do Kimberly before I, my phone dies. She says, um, didn't give me none for six months, so I went out and got me some. That's why she cheated. That's why she cheated. Hey. Remember we was talking about when I brought it up about cheating. Why, why, well, why did you cheat on me? She said, well, you didn't give me none for six months, so I went out and got me some. But he was depressed. Well, no, she did that. Right, right, he said, "What if he was depressed?" Oh, oh now you because, care about the reason. No, because he has a good reason that care. what right. he said is that we have to accept. Is we have we have to accept? Can I be real? If your wife, your girlfriend, don't want to have sex for whatever reason, you you accept it. You're a dog if you still try to get some. Yeah. You are un. You, you know they ain't trying to hear that. So, you know what I'm saying? Especially if it's not medical. It's whatever reason she tell you. So, you be, it doesn't make it right, but it doesn't make it right that you, you, you're, holding with, you're holding it from them either. So, you're not supposed to hold it from each other. Y'all do know that. Y'all know that, right? All that I don't feel like it all the time. Well, that's that truth thing, though. Do you want her? Do you want her to tell you, you know, babe, you, you know, you're not really pushing the buttons, and you know, all you doing is getting up there. Here's grunting. here's honesty. All, all you doing is getting up there grunting. I'm not really getting nothing out of it. It's like five hundred. That's when the honesty comes in. If she says that, he needs to accept that. If she says that. I mean, if he says that, she needs to accept that. See, most, most people are not going to take it how I just said it. See, through wisdom and years of shit that's happened in life, you come to be able to accept truth no matter what it is. So even if it hurts, it's the truth. At least they told you. So now it's up to you to make a decision, like I said at the beginning on it. The same thing goes for when a man does it and a woman does it. There ain't no difference in that. So y'all can't separate that. She said it. That's why. It is what it is. So ain't nothing changed. Now he has to decide if he want to still be there. What he's going to do. If he's going to accept it, he's going to forgive it, he's going to move on. But women do the same things that men do for the same reasons on a lot of stuff. Yeah. So women, oh, let me say this part because I get so tired of this. Why they act like men? There's more women than men. Women are doing the same stuff that y'all hate about men. There are women that y'all know that's doing the same thing. No, we don't. Men can't cheat unless they have a woman that's cheating with them. No, we don't. There are married women out here that cheats their ass off. Not black women. Gets it in. Not black women. Black women don't <laughs> cheat. Right, black women don't cheat. Black women don't cheat. <laughs> don't laugh so hard back there, friend. They got side dudes like went like dudes got side chicks. I ain't never seen no side More. dude. So we gonna stop that. No, I ain't never seen no. Come here Friday or Saturday night. Mm -hmm. I ain't seen no side dude. Just friends. They was just friends. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some friends. Please. <laughs> you said what? Right, man. Did y'all have a good time tonight with this great conversation as always? Yes, we did. Oh, we hear you, Freddie. Yes, we did. <laughs>
Y'all make sure y'all share the video. Yes. Uh, pull on up 21300 uh, Libby Road. Do we still say video? Do we still it is video, right? It is video, though. V yeah, share it's VHS. VHS. Yes, and have some of these crazy conversations with your friends because I'm sure that as y'all <laughs> listen to this, have, have your group of friends around, have these conversations, see what the people uh, around you actually think about some of these things because you never know, and if you're open-minded enough, you might learn some stuff if, if they are willing to be honest. All right. Y'all yeah, appreciate y'all. Have a Tyrone. good day. We're going to continue to uh, kick it up in here. Stop by, get a drink. Uh, I'm reading about what Cardi B just said it did. All right. Holla at y'all. One time. Peace. Church.